The Psalms describe movements and paths in the sea, which align with science's discovery of ocean currents. Matthew Morey, who was the father of oceanography, was actually inspired by what the Bible had said about the sea and took these references as a way to map the ocean currents. Air has weight, Biblia Toto writes, Galileo Galilei eventually managed to disprove this assumption with a clever experiment, but long before he did this, the book of Job revealed that God imparted weight to the wind and meted out the waters by measure. Job 28:25. Ancient beliefs thought that air was weightless, but modern technologies have proven that the atmosphere has pressure and weight. Job 38, 19-20 describes light as moving, and this aligns with modern science's understanding of the speed of light. It contrasts with the ancient view that light was static. Modern physics has been able to confirm that light travels at a finite speed, and this is something that's remarkably in line with what the Bible states. Ecclesiastes 1.7 and Isaiah 55.10 describe the water cycle. Even though this was a concept that was not fully understood by science until the 17th century, the hydrological cycle includes processes such as evaporation, cloud formation, and precipitation. It helps to reflect an understanding of the Earth's water systems. Job 26.7's depiction of Earth hanging on nothing contrasts with ancient cosmologies that said, Earth rested on pillars or even animals. This biblical reference shows an understanding of Earth's place in the void of space. This insight significantly predates any modern findings from the 18th century, when there was scientific acceptance that the Earth was suspended in space. The Bible was the first to say that the number of stars is innumerable. For example, Hart Publications writes that the Bible preempts this discovery of modern science by declaring that the number of stars were too many to count. Modern astronomy confirms this, but it goes against ancient times, where they stated there were a certain number of stars. Numbers 19 emphasizes that a person should wash their hands after contact with the dead. This was centuries before germs were discovered. It wasn't until the 19th century that germs were discovered by Ignaz Semmelweis, who found that there were fewer patient deaths when staff washed their hands. It took science longer to catch on to the fact that sick people needed to be quarantined compared to the Bible. For example, Jehovah's Witnesses write, the Mosaic law prescribed keeping people with leprosy separate from others. Not until the plagues of the Middle Ages did medical doctors learn to apply this principle. Deuteronomy 23, 12, 13 instructs that a person should dispose of waste away from any human settlements. This wasn't a practice that was always carried out in ancient cities. This has since been encouraged by science as modern sanitization recognizes the importance of waste management for good health. Proverbs 17.22 links joy and a good heart to health, which greatly predates the modern understanding that mental health can have an impact on physical well-being and vice versa. The Bible was able to acknowledge the connection between emotional and physical health long before modern medicine. 